James's Park, kickoff is fast approaching for tonight's game against Newcastle United, and we're joined by Graham Sharp. Graham, we've not lost in four games against Newcastle. This is our one of our games in hand. It's a big match tonight. It's a massive game. Uh, Newcastle had a, a good result uh, in the weekend, uh, so they'll be full of confidence. It's a difficult place to come to. Yes, we've done well in the past, uh, but I'm sure you know the, probably the last game of uh, Alan Padre's ban. Uh, you know, Newcastle wanted to, to give them something to, to come back to. So we know it's going to be tough, uh, but hopefully, hopefully, we, uh, we're in a good little run of form at the moment. Maybe not playing as well as we did at the beginning of the season, but we're picking up points, and it's important we pick up something tonight. Obviously, the talk ahead of games is always about players that are available, players that aren't available. But how big a factor is it not even having the manager in the ground, never mind on the touchline? Well, it's got to have an effect on you. You know, I think you'll train with them all week, and, and obviously the players will look to the bench, you know, and, and when, when in need. Uh, and don't get me wrong, John Carver will do a good job there, but I think it, it's got to have a, a negative effect on them. You know, but in scene, more importantly for us, you know, we're, we're looking at this game. Uh, I still think we've got a, a possibility of, of top four. Um, looking at Arsenal and you know their results, and Arsenal have got to come to Goodison Park. So whilst their home form is good at the moment, it's you know it's important if he can get something from this game. You know the it's still on; it's all to play for. Arsenal, as I said, Man City, Man United to come to Goodison Park. But you know a result here today would be massive for us. Yeah, yet to win away in the league in 2014 with this game and Fulham coming on Sunday, it'd be a great place to start. It'd be a, a great fillip, wouldn't it? It would be, you know, but as I've said all along, you know, there's never any easy games in the Premier League, you know, whether Fulham are down the bottom, you know, they'll be tough at the weekend, just as this will be tough, you know, they'll they'll be back with a favourite crowd, as always, uh, it's at James's part, so we know what to expect, we've just got to come into this game, play our own game and hopefully get the result, you know, Lukaku scored at the weekend, he looks as if he was coming back to some sort of form, I'm sure he can cause problems for, for the Newcastle defence, but... Looking at Newcastle at the weekend, you know, they, they were lively. You know, OK, they only won 1-0, but they had a lot of opportunities and, and they're a strong team, they're a physical team, so we have to match them first and foremost. If we can do that, hopefully our big players, you know, by, by that I mean Lukaku and, and Morales if he plays, Ross Bartley if he plays, can cause them problems. Yeah, this game last year, it was it was very tight. It needed something very special from Leighton Baines to, to get us back on track and lead, set, set the, the tone for the victory. Need something special like that again tonight, maybe? Well, yeah, I'll take a scruffy goal tonight, Scott, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, the one that won it last year was a fantastic strike from Leighton Baines. You know, we know what he's capable of. Came up with the goods again on Saturday. But, uh, as I said, I would take a scrappy one. Uh, one nil would do me tonight. You know, I think the, the result's the most important thing. Yes, you'd want to play well, but, you know, if it's a scrappy one nil win, we'll take it. OK, just minutes away from kick-off now. Lee Mason's our official tonight. So let's hope for another Leighton Baines special.